and welcome back to the family fudge. Uh oh, <laughs> did you drop that? <laughs> That's okay. Today we're going to share with you our new summertime bedtime routine with some new things, including some gratitude journals and new responsibilities we're trying to teach the kids. So stay tuned. Before we get started, give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna kick off our bedtime routine with dinner. We usually like to eat dinner around 6 p.m. And I like to have the kids in bed by eight, so that doesn't give us a lot of time. Now you guys probably know that I love making fun lunches for my kids. It's actually really fun for me. But you might be surprised that making dinner is not one of my favorite chores at all. You know, I used to share a lot of dinner recipes on this channel back in the day, and I've had a lot of you request to see those again. But I have to be honest with you, I've been in a dinner rut recently. I'm just not sure what to make. Some members of my family happen to be picky eaters, and I have a husband who's allergic to gluten, so it definitely makes things more challenging. So when Home Chef reached out to me to see if I wanted to try out their service, I said, yeah, that sounds excellent, sure. So for tonight's dinner, I'm making the Alcapulco steak quesadilla, something I know the whole family's gonna love. And for the husband, I'm just gonna go ahead and not give him the flour tortilla. I'm gonna make his into a salad bowl. I love how Home Chef includes all of the ingredients that I'm going to need. They're already pre-measured and they provide easy step-by-step -step directions. I know exactly how to make it. And there's even some parts that my kids can help make so they can get in the kitchen with me. Now, if you're curious and you would like to give Home Chef a try, I do have a $30 off coupon code for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put that link down below, and you wanna use the code THEFAMILYFUDGE30 when you make your order. From start to finish, this recipe only took about 30 minutes to make. It was super easy. Home Chef has a huge variety of dishes to choose from, and they even have some allergy-friendly choices as well, which is perfect for us. But now for the moment of truth. Will my kids actually eat this and will they like it or not? So here's how I plated up the kids. I did it a little bit differently for my toddler and my husband as well. This recipe was really easy to adapt for the different members of my family. I am very happy to report that tonight's dinner was a success. All of the kids ate it. In fact, they asked for seconds. So it's always a good indication of whether they liked it or not. I thought it was delicious and so did the husband. And now on to the next part of our evening routine and that is something we're starting new and that's to help the kids to learn some responsibility and to work as a team. And that means dishes. Now usually after dinner, my husband would end up doing the dishes while I got the kids ready for bed or I worked on other projects. But what we're gonna do now is we're teaching the kids to clean up after themselves after every meal. We actually reduce the number of plates that we have in our house. So basically if the kids don't wash their own dishes, they're not gonna have a clean one. Everyone has their assigned color and that is their plate. So they're in charge of washing it up themselves. Now we may switch this up in the future and rotate meals. So like for breakfast, Lily will do all the dishes and then for lunch, Kenzie will do them and for dinner, Jackson might do them, something like that. Now but I don't make them do the adult dishes, just their own. It's a good learning experience for them. At least I think so. So after the kids were done washing up the dishes, it's time for them to wash up themselves. That's right, it is shower time. I'll usually send one kid to my bathroom and the other kid to the other bathroom and then they just rotate until everybody is squeaky clean. And then after the big kids are done is when I usually will give Griffin a bath. And speaking of Griffin, while we're waiting for the older kids to take their showers, he is helping me vacuum. I don't clean the whole house every night. I probably should, but I don't usually. But there are a few chores that I really like to get done. And number one is vacuuming this little carpet that we have in the living room. It gets super dirty. A 
another job that I really like to get done every night is to clean off the coffee table. The kids use this throughout the day and it gets really grimy and fingerprints all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe that off really quick. Now while I'm tidying up the living room, my husband's usually finishing up in the kitchen. He might be putting dinner away and finishing all the rest of the dishes. Next, I'm really going to try to set the tone for sleep. So we don't have any more TV at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of essential oil to my diffuser. And I'm just going to do some lavender tonight. It's very calming and it's perfect for bedtime. At this point, I also like to draw the curtains and I try to make it a little bit darker in the house to also set that bedtime tone. We've had a lot of struggle over the summer getting the kids to go to bed when we want them to because it's still light outside because it's summer. So we decided that no, bedtime is just going to be 8 o'clock whether it's really sunny outside or whether it's really dark outside. Now on to something my kids really don't enjoy and that is brushing out their tangles. They've had their showers, they're in their jammies, but we gotta get those tangles out. Lily's hair is definitely easier than Mackenzie's. I try to use a special detangling brush and some detangling spray if I have any. But Jackson, he has short hair. I don't have to get his tangles out at all. He's so easy. Okay friends, moment of realness here. We've done all of these bedtime things and you would think the kids would be winding down, but no. They still have a lot of energy, especially the boys, so they run back and forth for a little while to burn it off. And usually after about five minutes of that, they're ready to settle down. So usually my husband will take Griffin away at this point and he will put him to bed while I work with the kids on a project. And this is a new one. Instead of reading a bedtime story, I'm going to ask them to write down three things that they were thankful for that day in their new gratitude journal. We had each of the kids pick out their own notebook. This is just a cheap composition notebook. We got it in the back to school section, so they were only like 50 cents or 99 cents. They were not expensive at all. The older two kids can definitely make their own list, but Lily, who's gonna be starting transitional kindergarten this year, definitely needs some help. I offered to help her write them down in her notebook, but she's such a cute little artist. She said she would draw a picture of what she's grateful for instead. list is water, flowers, air, sunlight, and food. And that's all in this picture. Water, air, sunlight, and food, which is an ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> now all that's left for these guys is to brush their teeth, say their prayers, and get tucked in. Tonight I have them using their special black toothpaste. This has activated charcoal in it and coconut oil and it's super minty and it turns their teeth a little bit black which they think is fun. It can be messy though. And now to tuck them in. Good night! Good night! Good night. They really enjoy me turning on their nightlight. The girls have a flower. Good night, Jackson. Good night. <laughs> Jackson does like his nightlight as well. It's a balloon. So I'm just gonna turn off his light, tuck him in, and then it's time for some mommy time. Usually at this point, I'm gonna be sitting at my desk editing a video, but I do have a few products that I like to use around this time as well, including some facial cleanser, some special moisturizers, Sometimes I will work on my nails. I like these kiss nails. They're really cheap and easy. And then the very last thing I always do before I go to bed is put in my new aligners. These are not my favorite, but hopefully they will give me a straighter smile in about five months. Once everything is cleaned up and I'm done editing for the night, one of my favorite things to do is to go ahead and turn off all of the lights, but turn on my battery operated candles. The house is pretty much clean. It's smelling good like lavender essential oil. I've got my candles going and it's peaceful. Now, of course, this is all best case scenario. This bedtime routine doesn't always work out, but we try our best. 
Thank you guys for joining me today and I want to thank Home Chef for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions about Home Chef, again, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Good night, fudgies!